from non-communicable diseases in the country after the Kenya Medical Research Institute commissioned a state-of-the-art stem cell and regenerative medicine laboratory. The lab stationed at Camry's headquarters in Nairobi aims at regeneration of healthy cells to replace cells affected by cancer, diabetes, road accidents and other diseases in what is known as regenerative medicine. According to scientists, stem cell research will increase a deep understanding of how diseases occur and how best to tackle them, according to the Institute's Acting Director General, Professor Elijah Sungok. This will eventually reduce the burden of patients traveling outside the country for treatment. Our area is R&D, research and development. And the various research we have done over the last 40 years we are moving to products. And these products are what the country needs. These products are what the region needs. These pro products are what the continent needs. This center was very, very pivotal when COVID came in and uh, the sequencing processes were being done at uh, this specific center. So my call is uh, we need to invest in research and we've seen products. Camry has really been, uh, in terms of outputs, research-wise, has done marvelous. Product discovery, doing the basic science of identifying the cell and what it can do from bench, from bed. bench to bed can take up to even 10 years. Mm. The, this is the reality check. And the reason for this is human safety. You take the product, you assess it if it has the ingredient to manage that intervention you want, then you take it through human trials. Is it safe? Is it safe for pregnant women? Is it safe for children? You do that what we call phase one trials. 